Hi guys, today we are going to introduce a new movement. This may be familiar to some of you. Um, it's called an overhead squat. So while we don't have barbells, I'm gonna use a dowel. If you don't have this at home, grab a sweeping brush or something like that and it will just, it'll work just as well. So an overhead squat is one of my favorite movements because not only does it challenge or work with stability, flexibility, it's also a really nice strength movement the heavier that you start to build up that barbell. So today we're gonna keep it nice and light. We are gonna chat through the movement and we'll take it step by step and see how you feel so today we're focusing purely on technique and as this course progresses, the program progresses, we're going to start building this into some of our conditioning pieces also. So lots of fun to come. So for the dowel, we're going to start off with um, feet, shoulders and support. You're going to get the dowel and bring it into your hip, your, your hip crease and you're going to start to hinge from the hip. From here, fully extend the arms and once you see that nice fully extended arm without a bend in the elbow. That's generally the distance that you need. From here, we're gonna bring the bar or the dowel up overhead and we're gonna to start to squat. So essentially, I'll just show you from the side, we still wanna maintain that nice neutral flat back. If you notice that you're breaking down or the bar is traveling too far forward, you may need to focus a little bit more on some flexibility work before you progress to this movement. So we're gonna go through 10 reps here and let's see how we do. You'll notice that the dial is staying over the midline, over my midline. It's not traveling forward. So let's make sure to keep those arms back. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, last one, and 10. So today I simply want you just to play around with this movement. Even if this is too much, grab the pair of tights that we've been using for your band of pull-aparts or a resistance band. Um, start there and then we're gonna progress this movement over time. Good luck guys.